Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. Now we're going to do a How to Play and Playthrough of Path of Civilization, A Story of Humankind by Captain Games. And this is for one to five players, ages 14 and up. And it takes about 20 minutes per player. Mm -hmm. That might be about right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to also compare this to Seven Wonders Duel in a review and Nations the Dice Game. Eventually we'll be doing How to Play and Playthroughs on that. But for now, let's talk about setup, and then we will start playing. Yay! So one thing that's unique is that you have these wooden card holders numbered 1 through 9B. That means the game will be played over 9 rounds. And you'll see on this card here, you look for the card that shows the number of players. You see a 1 and a 2 because you can play this game solo. And each round you're going to get so many wonders, those are the gray cards there with the column symbol. And so many leaders, those are the purple cards. You're going to get so many per turn. And that's what's laid out right here. You'll see that there is a deck here with level 1 wonders, those are the gray cards. Level 1 leaders, and then level 2 Wonders, and this is the cost right here. So it, it tells you how many builders it costs and how many diplomats. Level two leaders, and you just take so many out from the pile according to that setup card. Level three leaders, I mean wonders, and level three leaders, and that costs seven. So that's already been taken out of the deck. Now where do you get the cards that go into those cardboard stands? Well, there are threes. You take one of those. And these are challenges. I'll go over those. These are cards that you're going to need to address at the end of that particular turn. Same with military cards. So there's only so many fours, fives, sixes. You're only going to use one of these. So this adds more variability to the game. Sevens, eights. And you see a 9A and a 9B because you're going to do a challenge and then a military battle on the ninth turn. So this is what's set up here. We have our setup card here. As I mentioned, there are other cards here. Here is the, the turn five card, the turn four card. You can see there's greater numbers of, of wonders and leaders. And then that's where you have the backs here for the turn sequence. So for the first two turns, there's going to be no challenge or military battles, but we're going to get some wonders. This is the turn marker. Some leaders and a wonder, and you'll see it will go like this. You won't be getting any wonders or leaders on the last turn because it's the last turn. Here's the military track. This is our legacy, military legacy. We'll start out at zero. Unless there's something on our board here that changes that. You mark the strength of the first battle, the Trojan horse, which is a three. So we have to overcome this with our military units, which will go here, which we will acquire during the game, or in setup. And you'll add it to your military legacy. I'll go over that in a minute. And these are our sages, which are used to overcome challenges. Those are the yellow right there. So you see that I took one card from each of the deck right here from 1 through 9B. So that's the setup there, and here's the military track. The next thing here is you have the philosopher board, and uh, philosophers will go here. We mark that we start out at zero. When you get two philosophers, you go to level one. At the end of the game, we're worth three victory points. And then you can go to the next level, next level, next level, next level. And as you proceed, you will get bonuses. I'll explain that in a minute. But these markers here are put upside down, and when somebody goes there, they'll flip up one of those. If more than one person goes there at the same on the same turn, both of them will flip up, and they'll choose one of these. And these are the types of bonuses you can get. That's what's shown there. Here are the technologies you can get. This is a level one, two. See, this is one, two, three, four. And these are when you buy one. Here's the cost. This will cost. This is science. I'm sorry, culture, science. Uh, philosophy, no, spiritual, sorry, spiritual, military, 
and industrial. And when you get a card for one, four, seven, or ten, you'll see that there's bonuses right here that you will acquire when you get the card. Here's the player board. They are numbered from one to five. And for a two-player game, you only play with boards one and two. So you see here in the right-hand corner, that is the number. You'll put your, <coughs> excuse me, one meeple here on the military legacy track. Another one here on your population, here on the philosophy board. You have your cylinders here to keep track of your research in the different technologies. You'll start out with five basic cards in technology. All players get the same cards. So we start out with tools, uh, <laughs> tribe, hunting, rituals, and fire. So we all have those cards. Now on the board here, you have to pay attention to what bonuses it gives you on the left-hand corner. So remember how I said in setup you might get a military unit? So this board here gives me a population. So I'm going to start out population 5. That means I'm going to get a diplomat. So the purple, as you go up in population, you can get diplomats and victory points at the end of the game. You'll be using diplomats to, to, to purchase leaders. Now Julie's board is a little different. So let me mark that first before I forget. I'm going to, I, I get a level 5 population. I put my diplomat here in the diplomat box. And I get a military unit here, which I'll be able to use to try to defeat the Trojan horse. Julie gets a philosopher. That's her beginning amount right here. So that's the only difference is in the setup boards is that left-hand corner. She starts out on population four. Now, why does population matter? Because when you do research, you can only spend as much research as you have population. I'll go over that in a minute. Uh, so you got those. Here is the, the leader. Diplomats for leaders. Philosophers for the philosophy board. And builders to get wonders. So before we start a turn, you, we, we will be putting out the cards from the turn out to be purchased. So let's do that now. And you gotta, I gotta be careful, I'm knocking this stuff down. Okay. So we have two wonders that we can build. If someone builds this wonder, it costs two builders. It's a science card type, and it will give an industrial and a science uh, research on our tracks. Or somebody can build this. You will move up on your military legacy, which is a permanent point, and you can get one military uh, unit, and it's worth two victory points at the end. And that also counts, uh, costs two builders. So these we'll put the wonders right here. So that's set up. Let's start going over the turn sequence. The turn sequence is going to be that we're going to take our, our technology cards. We have five. So the interesting thing about this game is we're always going to have usually only five cards. We can only place four, which means one card will always be discarded. It will be turned over. And sometimes these cards will give benefits even when they're in discarded. So if it's a technology that's discarded or a leader that is replaced with another leader, you can still use its type. What I mean by that? So if I replace Tyranny with a different card and I discard it, it's still going to give me a science type. And at the end of the game, if I got rid of Despotism and I discarded it, it would still give me a victory point at the end of the game. So keep in mind that when you discard a card, you're still going to be able to use the type that it is. And when you play a card, you need to look at its left side. That's called the development side and its research side. So notice all of our beginning cards have no development sides. So we're not going to be able to get any, any bonuses for the first turn with the left side of our cards. 
we're going to be playing cards to get the right side when we get to the research phase. So, for instance, if I want to move up on the science track, I'm sorry, the industri industry track, I put it here. Or if I want to move up on the culture track, I play this one here. This is where a leader will go. Some leaders can give development on the B side or on the D side, give research. So the turn A right here, if I show you on this card here, turn A is we, we, we pick four of our five cards and discard one. Turn B is that we do the development side. That's where cards can give you philosophers, builders for wonders, the purple is diplomats for leaders, sages for the challenges, military units for the military battle, or go up population. Then C is we must, if we have enough philosophers, move up on the philosophy track. We can, if we want, use our builders to build a wonder. We can, if we want, use our ambassadors to build a leader, to get a leader, but you only have one leader at a time. And you can only purchase one wonder at a time or one leader at a time. And then D is we do our research side. That's where we move up our research tracks. And then phase E is when we purchase a card. You must purchase a card. And you can have duplicate cards. And you can skip ahead. So it's possible, for instance, to go from tyranny to democracy if you have 10, sign, uh, 10 culture. One game I went from artiller, uh, archery to, to the A-bomb, mm -hmm. like on turn 7. So it's possible to do that. I didn't win, by the way. <laughs> So it didn't matter that I did that. So you can, and you can have duplicates. You can have more than one of the same card. So F is, once you purchase a card, then you look at if there's a challenge to overcome or a battle to fight. So those, that's the turn sequence. So for the first turn only, we're either going to go up, we're not going to get anything on the development side because there's no B size on these cards. Notice if I had despotism, I can go up a, which, what is that Diplomat. here? I can get a diplomat to buy a leader and a sage for the challenge round because I would be putting it here on B. I would not be getting the two science and the industry. So if I put it here on B, I'm getting an ambassador and a sage. If I put it here, I'm getting two science and an industry, industrial, which means I'd move up on the tracks here, and then I could use that to, to buy something here or here. So you got to decide where you put cards. When you acquire cards that have things on both sides, but right now our first five cards only has things on their research side. We don't get to develop anything yet. Uh, and when you do get a leader, let me, uh, what did I do with those cards? <laughs> I'll just pick a random four leader here. Uh, so this leader, for instance, if you acquire, he'll give a discount on getting level four cards. It'll cost one less research point. And if it's science, you can get a level four. So in other words, usually science at level four costs 10. You can get it for eight. And all other level fours cost nine. But when he dies, in other words, he's replaced with another leader. Even in death, he will give you a minus one cost on level four uh, when acquiring level four cards. And he's worth three victory points at the end of the game. And he's considered a science card even in death which will help us when we have to overcome challenges or uh, overcome certain challenges, which I will explain in a minute. Okay, so let's go over what we're in for here because how we use these cards is going to be determined by what battles and challenges we're going to be facing because every game is different, but you got to take a look at what's coming up. So this particular challenge we are going to need wonders. If you have at least one wonder, you get a science. But you have no wonders, you still get two victory points. So you'll move up on your science track. And then on the bottom part, you add up all your cards that could be wonders, leaders, so even leaders in death, and any technology you have, even those that are discarded or that are still on your board, you add up the card types plus any sages that are in this yellow area here, and that's how many victory points. So say I have one industrial card and one sage, I'll get two victory points. And then you divide by two, round it down. So if I did have two, I'd get another sage for a future round. And when you use sages in a challenge, they go away. 
they don't stay in the box. But in this case, I get one for the future challenge, which will be on turn five. Now, what happens here when we get to turn four? Whoever, we, if you, whoever has the most military and beats a three, gets the top layer. You'll get a philosopher, move up on the science track, and get three victory points. So let's say Julie has five. I have three, and the Trojan horse has three. So Julie gets the top layer. We're tied. So I would get still the science and the two victory points. But I say I had less than the Trojan horse. The Trojan horse takes the second, le the second place, and I'd get the third place. If there was a tie in a, th a three-player game, so in other words, Julie has the top layer, I'm tied with the Trojan horse, and our son David has less, the ties would, take, would remove the third level, and David would get the fourth level. So when you tie with somebody, it removes levels below it, depending on how many people tie. So this just gives you uh, bonuses if you can come in first place. So here we need an industry. Oh, we need industry again on turn five. So all these are random. So we, we need to be aware that we need industry again to get the most out of this card. And when this card comes up, that means all the level, th the level three industry, which in this case is charcoal, will cost six instead of seven. So this isn't the best card, but it does make it cheaper. But then if you have industry and sages, you get victory points, and then you divide by two, and you can get more, si uh, more culture uh, research. Uh, now let's look at level six here. You need to overcome a four, and we'll mark that. After we do this battle, we'll put this on a four. And by the way, how do you do, how do, you do battles? You, you add up your legacy. Every legacy point as you move across here is worth one. Any military units in here is worth two. So if I'm able to move here, two plus one of these is two, four beats a three. If Julie only had a one and no military units, she would come in third place. I would have four, two plus two, and this would go away after the battle. I would beat that three. Julie would only have one point, and she would come in third place. And so once you use these for a challenge or a battle, they, your units are removed. And by the way, these are not, we, we have 20 of these, but the rule books say if you run out, you can use something else. You're not limited to how many you can have. Okay, so that's the Battle of Poitiers. Okay, so the Black Death will be coming up on turn 7. This if you have a level four science, and what's this case is the internet. Is it the internet? Wow, you need the internet by that time? Well, I guess if you have the internet, or you could have more than one internet card, that'd be hard to get because it costs 10 science to do it. Uh, you can get five victory points. And then if you have science and sages, you get victory points, and then you divide by three, and you can get more diplomats to buy leaders. Again, you're looking at this ahead of time so you can plan. Going for industry is good early on. Gettysburg is a nine battle. And these up arrows means you can, if you can improve any research category you want. Level one, the first place, you can do two research categories twice, or you can split them up. And then the last challenge, 9A, this means whoever has the most science out of all the players We'll get two military units, which will help you in the military battle. And if you have science plus sages, that's victory points. And if that victory points is greater than nine or equal to, you get three more victory points. And if you're greater than or equal to the 12, you get five. So for the first half of the game, we're going to want to get leaders and wonders and technology that's in the industrial area. And then for the second half of the game, we're going to want to get science. Uh, cards. And at the very end, Okinawa, the World War II battle, you're going to have to overcome a 15 if you want to get the top category, which is worth 13 victory points. Okay, so on the bottom here, this is what keeps track of the phases. And so that was a lot of going over things. So right now we're going to do the first phase of placing four of our five cards, and then we'll put one of them in our cemetery. So I'm getting rid of rituals. So I'm putting it down here. 
in the rule book, this is supposed to be your cemetery for your leaders. Your wonders go up here, above here, and then on the side here, you put your discarded cards. What did you get rid of? Uh, rituals. You got rid of the same thing? Yeah, I was already thinking about it while you were talking. So. Okay. <laughs> so we do now development. We check our Bs. There's nothing in our Bs for these first five cards. So we don't get anything. Now we, uh, and you can't overcome your maximum population. I have five. Julie has four. That moved. Did that move or did I just move You it? just moved it. That was me. Mm -hmm. See, I'm destructive. <laughs> uh, so there's nothing to place to develop. So we skip that phase. Now we look at, are there philosophers here? If you have two, you must advance. But we, Julie only has one and I have zero. That's a must. Now we do wonders. If we had any builders, if we had two, we can build one of these wonders. But we don't. And then we look at diplomats. I have one there, but there's no leaders to buy yet, so it doesn't matter. Okay, now we go to our development. I'm sorry, our research. So I get an industrial. I move up one here. And I get a science. I go up one here. What did you move up? Industrial and military. Ah, so we did a little different. Mm -hmm. So that's Julie's track. You can see here the right side of the card. And remember, you can have leaders that give you D or B, or it just gives you a one-time bonus that doesn't have a B or a D. We'll get to that when, the, when we see those leaders. All right, so we're done with that phase. Now we must buy a card. That's a must. And I can do, I can get masonry, or I can get writing. If I get writing, at least it will give me a sage for the first challenge if I put it on the left side here for B on next turn. Or I can get wonders, uh, builders for wonders. I'm going to go with masonry. So I'm, and this happens at the same time. So I purchase it for one, and I put it right here. And then look, I get this bonus here. This, when you purchase a card in each little category here, there are symbols here. I'm going to get a builder. What are you purchasing? Our military. Okay, you go down. I get a permanent thing too. Okay, so Julie went up on her military legacy. So she's got one, and I have zero. And they call that power, by the way. Julie has one power right now, but I have two power with my military unit. Yep. Okay, and uh, now we do. Is there a challenge or a military battle here? No. So now we go to the next round. And we take these leader, these cards here, and we put them out. We have another wonder that can be built. This one, when built, will give you one victory point. It's an industrial, and it gives you a sage right away in a military unit. Here are two leaders. Oh, these are pretty good. One of them is. <laughs> this one just gives you victory points of four, so that's cool. Cleopatra. And it's a uh, cultural type. This one here will give you a science during the research phase mm. as long as this leader stays up. When it's re Remember, you can only have one leader at a time. If this leader is replaced, it goes into your cemetery. It still can, will count as a science when you have to figure out challenges or military battles. Okay. So these go up right here. And they all cost two. Now we pick up our five cards. Again, we're only going to be able to place four. I'm getting rid of tribe. Have we decide what you're doing yet? I'm getting there. I'm sorry. You're okay. I'm slow. Let's fix up your board a little bit here. I'm getting rid of hunting. Okay, so that's what you've placed. Yep. Okay, now we have cards that we're actually going to get development. So we look at our bees. I get a builder. I get a helmet. So Julie gets a military unit. So she now will be able to tie the power of three here because one plus two is three. 
So she'll tie at least for first place when this battle happens. She doesn't have anything here on that B. Mm -mm. Okay, for, for me, I got a builder. Nice. Okay, so we're done. Yep. Now we go to this phase. I forget what this phase is called. Might as well look it up. What are you going to build? Well, I want to see what that phase is called. It's called, that's a project phase, development phase, the evolution and purchase phase. <laughs> okay. Uh. So I am, uh, so we don't have two philosophers here. Nope. Of either color. Nope. Uh, so now I'm going to do a wonder. Okay. So I'm going to, so the way this works is you can, this is simultaneous. So say Julia also had two. And Julie wanted to get this one. And it says she also put her two right there. She had two. There's a tie. Well, how do you break ties? Well, you look at your board here. This is why they're, level, they're numbered one and two. You look here. If I was going for a science, I would beat her. And if she was going for spiritual, she would beat me. Mm -hmm. So we go to the right. Who beats military? Well, her military is in third. My military is in fifth. So she would beat me if she was going for this at the same time as me. So that's how you break ties with these order of symbols. So she's going to beat me every time she goes for a military leader or a military wonder. She will break that tie. But she can, didn't have the builders to do that. Nope. So I get it before her. So I, I'm going to put it here. So I go up one on my legacy. Good job. And I get a military unit. Woohoo! So right now, I have two, four, five to Julie's three, and the Trojan horse has three. So Julie will tie the Trojan horse right now and get second place. I would get first place. But we're not there yet. It can change. All right, now we do research. I did military and an industri industrial again. What did you do? I did the green and the yellow. So you did culture and science. Yep. So now we've done that. Uh -huh. If we had a leader here, we would have checked the D right there. Now we must purchase a card. I can, I could get another masonry if I want. You can have more than one. I can get archery, but I also can get writing. I'm going to get writing. So I put it right here. And by getting writing, I go up an industrial. And I have to go down one here because that's what you get when you... Right here is the bonus when you purchase that card that says industrial. I'm getting a tyranny. Yeah, I probably should have done gone for culture sooner. And Julie gets a population. Yep, and that means I also get a diplomat. Yes. Because when you move up your population, you're going to get diplomats, and eventually you'll get victory points at the end of the game. Yep. Okay, so now we check. Is there a challenge or a battle here? No. So now we're on the next turn. We're going to add a leader. And notice here, you want to have more wonders than another player to get a free science. If you don't, you get two victory points. And you want to have industry and sages to get victory points. So here is the leader. I should show it. It's a cost you two. Immediately, you will get a military on your research track, and you will get one builder in your uh, wonders box if you buy that leader. So those are our three leaders. And by the way, these do not rotate out. If we get level fours and level sevens, the level twos will still stay here. Mm -hmm. I had to verify that because the rules didn't say that. But uh, just in case, I looked it up. All right, so now we pick up our five cards next turn. Well, we are in the next turn because I flipped up the next leader. So now we have two level one cards. I guess it's possible someone could have a, a level four. I wonder how that would have happened. Maybe you could have a level four by this time. I think that would be pretty hard to get. Do I really want that? No, I don't. Hmm.
So I'm doing that. Okay, so now we've placed our four cards. We discarded one. Yes. I discarded fire. It doesn't uh, really matter. They're I don't all know basic. What discarded uh, tools. Yeah, they're all basic uh, technology. Okay, uh, we do development. I got a sage. I have a helmet. And, and a diplomat. Diplomat. You're going to be able to buy, if you want, mm -hmm. a... So Julie got... Uh, she's beating, competing with me to try to get first place for that... Uh, we'll see. For that Trojan horse. We'll see. Okay, so that was development. Now, is there two philosophers here? No. Is there... Enough builders here? No. Okay, do you want to get a leader? You um, could get her and get... Yeah, I'll get her. Okay. Now, this is a good one. The nice thing about buying this now is that we haven't done research yet, so right away she's going to get that science benefit. So that means as long as she's alive, you get that. She goes into the cemetery, she won't get that bonus anymore. Meaning she hasn't been replaced by another leader. Right. All right, so now we do research. So watch, Julie's going to go up on that science for that leader. I went up two because I have science there and a science there. Yep, and, and then I go up on culture. culture. Okay, for me, I have two military and one culture. So we moved up on our research tracks. Now we must buy a card. I am getting tyranny. By getting tyranny... I go up a population. So now I can have six. Now, again, why do we have to check that? We only did three research points here. We didn't exceed our fives. But it's possible that you can do that because you went up one, two, three. Mm -hmm. It's possible to exceed five. Well, we, that's why I'm going to get another tyranny so I can go up. Go up really? You're going to do another one, huh? Yeah, I think so. Because I want to save up for a four on mathematics. So, yeah. Okay. And I go up five, and I get a tyranny. So you can have more than one. And tyranny makes you go up a population. I did. Okay, you did? Mm-hmm. Got it. Because that's the bonus you so get right I have here. six. There's a little symbol here and here. All right, so we're done with that round. Uh, let's look at, well, you got to do the challenge. So we look at the challenge here. We're going to count wonders. I'm the only one with a wonder. So I go up. A science. Good job. But Julie is going to get two victory points for not having any wonders. Makes you wonder what's better, getting off a science or going up two victory points. Victory points. Now, <laughs> maybe. Now we're going to count how many industrial cards we have in Sages. So in other words, brown cards. It could be brown wonders, brown tech, or brown leaders, or brown leaders in the cemetery. Any brown card, which is industry. I have one, and then if we look here, I have one sage. Oops. So I have two points. And it comes off. So I get two victory points. Can you give me two victory points? I yet? can. I got a big fat zero. Okay, so I got two victory points. And then I divide that number by two, and I get one sage for the future challenge. Very good. So this goes back here, and then Julie... I have nothing. You have no nothing. industry whatsoever. Nothing. And she has no sages. So she didn't benefit from that nope. at all, that challenge. Okay, so we're done. Now we go to the next round. Okay, okay. Uh, let me show what we get here. We got, we're getting two liters and two... Wonders. Let's see what it is. And they're a level four cost. Okay, so here's the first leader. Joan of Arc. When she's alive, oh wow, your military units count as three. Oh, nice. And every two counts as five. In other words, normally it would count as two, now it's worth three, and then normally two units would count as four, so you get plus one with every two. And she's worth three victory points. Okay, so when this one's alive, all your uh, ambassadors, when you want to buy another leader, it's minus two on the cost. And then even, even when he's dead, replaced, they cost one less. 
So this is really good if you want to get future leaders. Here's the next wonder. You get three science if you build this. It costs four and it's worth two victory points. And then this one, it gives you two ambassadors right away and it's, it's worth four victory points and it's a culture type. There's some interesting uh, leaders there. Mm -hmm. So let's move this over. But you have a, you have to we have to have enough to buy them. Yes. And we are going to be doing the battle at the end of this turn. Right now, Julie's uh, we're tied on the battle, but we are going to beat the Trojan horse. So Julie and I may get to level one together. Okay, so pick up our five cards. Already did. I was okay. one step ahead of you. Sorry. That's all right. I'm being a little independent. I need to get a leader. Well, you got a lot to choose from there, huh? If I do that, I'm not gonna. You know what? This is why you got to get better stuff. Okay. All right. So place for four cards. <clears throat> now we do development. I get an ambassador. I get a military. Really? Yep. Julie right now is going to get first place unless I get another unit there, which is fine. She can do that. So, there's more than one way to score points in this game. Yep, yeah, that's what's nice about it. And I got a, a builder. Very good, honey. What did you, so you got a military unit, that's it? That's okay. it. Okay. Yep. All right, so now we do, we don't have two philosophers. But you. But we have, we don't have enough no. builders for anything. But you have two ambassadors. I am going to do that. I need to get a leader. Good. For I, two. You're not I like the choice. idea of getting the Dalai Lama. That's four, though. Oh, you're right. Uh, can't do that. Gotta watch him. <laughs> hmm. Do I save, or do I get Cleopatra for four points? It's your choice, babe. Huh. I'll get the... Uh, Lao Okay. What does he do? He gives me a, uh, a military nice. and another wonder. Oh, very good, honey. It's too bad, though. It didn't come first. Yeah. Because I can't use this yet. Oh, darn we're, it. We're already past the, right. the phase to build a wonder. <sighs> At least he's worth one victory <laughs> point. I don't know if that was a good buy, but oh well. Yeah. Okay, now we do development. One, two, three. Hello. I go up on culture. And, and spiritual, two. I go up on military. What did you go up on? There? I went three science and two of the this um, industry. Industry. Wow, your science is really high. I know. Okay, now we're purchasing one card. What are you going to get? I am going to get. You can almost get electricity and skip ahead. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to save it, and then I'm going to get. Uh, masonry, because I don't have one of those yet. Okay, so you go down one in your industry. Yes. I'm going to get artillery. Oh, okay, good. Nice. So, I'm going down four. One, two, three, four. And you go up two things on the track. That's great. I go up two military legacy, mm -hmm. and I get a philosopher. Yep. Nice job, sweetie. So, I go up here two permanently. I think we're going to be tied again. Tied. Oh, cool. So we're done with our cards. Mm -hmm. Now we do the challenge or military battle. Okay. So our military here is, it's a three. Mm -hmm. You have two, four, six, seven. I have two, four, seven. So we're tied. Nice. So that means that we both get a philosopher. Okay. Uh, we both go up in science. Which one's that one? The yellow? Yellow. Okay. And we get three victory points each. Okay. So I give, I'll take a five. I'm going to switch it out. Now, one, the two, Trojan three. horse yes. is level two, but they don't get anything. You know, oh, yeah, basically yeah. Basically, it's like sense. a robot player. Okay. Okay, now these come off. These don't stay there. Oh, yeah. That's right. Now we're going to mark that we have to overcome a four eventually. Okay. See? The Battle of Poitiers. Okay, so they say to move this over because oh, this is going to be the yellow. The challenge is next. Ah, okay. okay. so I move the turn order. We go right here. And let's see what we got. 
something good. This costs four for this wow. wonder. This means you're able to exchange. You can go up one in science, go down one in science, to go up one in culture. Mm. You're just exchanging one for one. You mean military? That arrow, the up and down arrow. I know, so, but one's a science and one's a military. Okay, I'm talking about the arrows. So oh. I can go down one here on industry and go up one here. It allows you to exchange one for one. Mm. So and then you get a science and then a military unit. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. That's a forbidden city. Then here's our leader. Martin Luther. Very cool. Oh, you get to go up one of the philosophy automatically. That's pretty good. That's really cool. Yeah. Martin Luther started the Protestant Reformation. And Martin Luther King, his father, named himself when they were visiting, mm. I think it's in Germany, uh, changed their names to after Martin Luther. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, so those are the cards. Now we pick up our five. Don't All pick right. up your leader. I know. If you buy a leader, it gets re you just goes in the cemetery and you get a different one. Now keep in mind, this challenge, you want as many brown cards and sages as possible to maximize mm -hmm. victory points there. So even if you, say for instance, if you put the, the masonry in this and discard it, you still get, it still counts as a brown card, even though it's in your discard pile. So keep that in mind. I only have one brown card anyway, so. Oh, I'm not gonna keep my hunting, that's for sure. I got rid of all my basic ones. Now we do our development. I got a sage, a military unit, and a builder. What did you get? Two ambassadors. Oh, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I don't have any ambassadors right now. All right, now we uh, go to, we're both gonna go up on the philosophy track. Oh, nice. That's a must. Okay, must. So we spend it, yep. does it cost two philosophers? Okay. We go up, and because we both went up, these both get flipped up. Now let's say Julie went up, and I didn't, she would get to look at these two and choose which one to be the bonus. And that would be the bonus for everybody else on future future turns. Mm. But because we both went up at the same on the same turn, we can choose which one we want to do. We could get the two victory points or get a military unit. I'm taking I'm going to military. Okay, so Julie's taking a military unit. Because we have another battle coming up here. Yes. So there you go. So I took breaking points. And this, it's so a times one. If it was over here, mm -hmm. times three, you'd get three military units or, or six oh, breaking points. Oh, okay. okay. I thought that meant you had to have like three. No. Um, okay, okay. Now, uh, so that was philosophy. It's a must. Mm -hmm. Builders. You can build something, honey. But do I want to wait? I don't know. I'm going to wait because I think I'd rather get a level four. Okay. Uh, do you want to get it? No, I'm going to wait. Because there's only a level two left. Yeah, I'm going to wait. Cle well, Cleopatra's worth four, but you're going to wait, right? Yeah, I don't want to give up okay. this guy. All right, so now we do our research. Okay. Go Notice here. my Lao Tin doesn't have an A or a B. All it gives me is a one-time bonus on those two categories. On those two. It gave me a builder and a, a military research. So I go up on culture. I went up on everything. Military. Science and, and industrial. Julie. I went up on everything. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. And look how high your science is. I know, I'm going to spend it right now. Okay, well, tell me what you're getting. I'm in electricity. Okay, so you get the bonus here. You go up one on your military. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, one on military. One on industrial. That's the brown. Thank you. You get one sage. So I'm putting it in the box over here. Okay, good. What else? You get one philosopher. Oh, wow, look at me. And you go up one population, which means you get another ambassador. Yes. Oh, well, now you got three there. Score. Now, I don't have as much as you, and I'm kind of short on everything. So I think I'm going to get worship. Oh, there you go. A level one. So worship gives me a, yep. uh, a philosopher, and I go down to zero. 
Because I need to get these up higher. You've been really building up your stuff. Right, now we do the challenge. So the challenge here is uh, level threes now are minus one in an industrial. So that means that if you want to build charcoal, mm -hmm. it costs you six instead of seven. Ah, okay, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing it is. It's not that great of a, no. of a bonus. And it's only that one, honey? It's only that one. Okay. Now we check our industrial and our sages. I have two sages. Yep. And I have one industrial, so that's three. Is that three points? So three, that's three victory points. Nice. Good job, so babe. So I'm going to exchange that out for five. So I have ten victory points right now. Woohoo! And then three divided by two, you round down. That's one and a half, so it's round down to one. So I get one culture point. Very nice, sweetie. Okay, so you have one sage. And I have one brown. Okay, so that's going to be two victory points. Very cool. And you also get one culture. That's green. Yes. So we're done with that round. Now we're going to be doing the Battle of Poitiers. Right now? No, that's because oh, it's coming time. up. You okay. got to have at least a four if you want to get first beat, beat the, the robot player. So here is the new leader. Look what she gives you an industrial and one going up one in anything you want. Wow. And she's worth eight victory points, but she costs seven. Dang. Yeah, she's pretty expensive. I only have three in there. <laughs> and then here's the other leader, Albert Einstein. You're a level four military, which is the atomic bomb, will cost six instead of ten. Oh. And even in death, that means at the end of the game, you get five victory points plus one per science card you have. Those are the orange cards. Okay. So he even counts as one. So this would be six because he counts as one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's Albert Einstein. That's a nice card there. Right. Okay. So you pick up your five cards. I'm going to do that. Okay. Hmm. So I want to go up and I guess I'm getting rid of writing. Oh. But it still counts as a science card when it comes to certain. Right. So development phase, I get a philosopher, I get a military unit, and I get a builder. I get two of the sages. I get a, a philosopher, and I get a diplomat. That's good. Yeah. Now we go, we must do the philosophers. Okay. It only costs two. We both go up again at the same time. So we flip these up. So we can get one industrial or one ambassador. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take... Let me do the ambassador. Hmm. I'm going to get an industrial. Okay. It's only a times one. We've done the philosophers. Now mm -hmm. we do wonders. I can build something for four. Yeah, you can. Anything you want to build, though? Do I want to make do Joan of Arc and make my units better? Sure. Or do I want to get two ambassadors? I don't know, my love. I'm going to do Joan of Arc. So Lao Tin goes into the cemetery. He's still worth, and it slides underneath. Okay, but I'm not going to slide him underneath. He's worth a, a spiritual, a blue card still. But normally, it would slide, I guess I can do it. I can slide it right there. So I can still see that I have a spiritual card type right there. So I did that. Now you can do your leader. You want to get anything for four, or are you going to save up for for this one or this one? Yeah, I'm saving up for the big guys. Okay, so we're done with that. Now we do development. Okay, I go science. up a science, industry, and a culture, 
screen and military. And military. Oops. So if you want to see what Julie went up on. So you got a lot of industry. Yeah. Okay, so we must buy a card. I'm looking what to get here. Uh, I could get mathematics. Yeah, I'll do a brown card. One, two, three. Let's work with despotism instead and get two population. This population. Wait, what did I, get? I get two buildings. Okay, so you built what, a foundry? Yeah. So you go up permanently on your military legacy. And then you get two they did. builders. Yeah. By getting that. I think I'm going to do mathematics. Good job, babe. So mathematics. No, I don't want mathematics. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go to four culture and I'm going to get despotism. Good. I get two population. Uh, I get an ambassador for that. By the way, did you exceed your population? One, two, three, four, five? No. Okay, that's good. That's all I got. Because I, I did four. Remember the first time we played, we were, you kept on exceeding it. And, I know. And you had to... Well, I was learning. You know, well, it's just the cards that you had. <laughs> This time we're not getting those cards. Okay, so I got my build... No, I didn't get my builder. But I did get my... My two population, so, and good. I got my ambassador. Good, good, good. All right, so now we do the military battle. Now, keep in mind that with Joan of Arc, as long as she's alive, my military units are worth three instead of two. Sweet. Good job. You're going to kick butt. Okay, so we got to overcome a four, because right... So you have two mm -hmm. plus two, four. So you're tied with him. Okay. Okay, I have three. Yep. Six, nine, because of Joan of Arc. So I came in first place. So I get, a, I get a military. All right. So I'm just going to show it like this. I get a, a, a military. Mm hmm I get a philosopher. Very nice. And three victory points. Good job, babe. You tied. Yep, so what did I get? So you get level two. You get a, a philosopher, and you get two victory points. Okay, good. I'll take it. I guess I should make change. One, two... Three, four, five. So now we're going to move the turn marker to here. And now we have a challenge where you want to have science. Okay. okay. So here's a, a, a level seven wonder. You go up two military legacy, you get two military units. Oh, we got to take off our military units. That doesn't stay. It's Wait, I'm confused. What are we doing now? We're getting what ready for turn seven. Okay. What the, oh, these are the cards that we're yeah. under. Okay. I this got is it. the wonder here. Okay. So you get to go up two military, two legacy, and you get two military units. And at the end of the game, you get one point for every military legacy you have. Wow. Big okay. for you. This here, uh, you get six points plus one point for every blue card you have, every spiritual card you have. Mm. And this card counts as a spiritual card. <laughs> so this is worth, you're going to have seven for sure. Okay. Here's... Our leader here, Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa, you're you're going to get a spiritual, and then one level on anything you want. And she's worth eight victory points. Wow. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to move this over. Here is our two wonders. Here's our level seven. I'll put her like this. Uh, let's take a look at. We got to move this to nine, so eventually we got to overcome a nine for Gettysburg, and then Okinawa will be a fifteen. It's gonna be hard. Yes, it will. So it's sometimes hard to get first place in the last battle. Yeah, I'm not too worried about okay, it. Can't you pick up our five cards? So You're just, gonna be able to buy a good leader here soon. Yeah, I know. Got I it know. All planned out. I know. Bees have hives. That's right. Uh, you know what? I want this instead. I 
if I get rid of tyranny. I think I'll get rid of because I have those. And that I'll get rid of masonry. And I'll keep archery. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we do development. I have a philosopher, ambassador, and a sage. I have a philosopher. I mean, a philosopher and two ambassadors. Okay, well. Yep. You're really going to be able to get something good. Yep. Now we do the philosophers. You need three to move on to the next level, so we're one away from, oh. from getting there. We have two. We yeah, yeah. one more. Oh, okay, okay. And we might be doing it at the same time. Yep. Wonders, you could get a level wonder level two here if you want it. Mm. Or you can save. What do, what do they do again? Can you show me, please? Sage, military unit, industry, science. Uh, sure. I'll do the sage and military unit. Okay, so Julie got a Palmer, Palmer, let's put it right there. Palmer. So it costs you two. I did, I took it away. Okay, so you give me, so Julie went up a sage and a military unit. Find that wonder. And it's a industrial wonder. Yep. Which isn't needed right now on this stage of the game. You sure you don't want to change it to this? Because this will count towards this stage of the game. This is a science. You want to change um, it to that? Sure, sure. Yeah, I okay. could do that. Because the challenges that are coming up are science. Yeah, I'll do so that. So we'll take these away. Okay. And so instead... I go up a yellow. You go up a science and you go up an industrial. An industrial. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Early on in the game, the first two challenges were uh, industrial challenges. So okay. that would have been better to get. What? All right. Okay, that was wonders. Uh, I can't do that. I'm not going to buy a leader for two and get rid of Joan of Arc. But you have seven. Who do you want to get? I want to get someone really good. I want to get... I want Einstein or Mother Teresa. Uh, they both give you how many points? Well, Albert Einstein gives you... It's going to give you five plus one per science. No, at the bottom. Oh, I see. She gives you... Always one spiritual and one in anything you want. And yeah. she's worth eight points. I'll do Mother Teresa. Okay, so Julie's going to replace this. This person still counts as a science. Okay, you slide it underneath. So, you're still going to get the science. Okay. Look right at there. And it's hard to see, but she has a, a culture and an industry. industry. But look here, you have a science, science, science. So that's three right there. Oh, okay, good. Three, three cards of science cards. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not building, I'm not getting a, a leader. Because I'm not going to replace Joan of Arc when there's a battle. Oh, coming yeah, no, her, so. I wouldn't either. She's badass. Okay, so now we do research. I go up to spiritual. So one, two, three, four. Yeah. Culture and a military. Four. I go up two of these. I go up one of these. And then you said this, I go up anything I want. I already did her hands, but on this one I can go anywhere I want. Yeah, anyone you want. Mm. For instance, spiritual gives you lots of uh, diplomats. I mean, sorry, philosophers. Yeah, I'll do that. So if you, okay. so you're going to buy a devotion right now? Sure, why not? You have seven, right? Yeah. Okay, so you go up a culture. Green. You go up, put three here. I gotta Look. put that down. You go three here. Oh, wow, okay. And you go up a permanent, your legacy. That was a good buy. Yeah, okay. And that was because of Mother Teresa. Now for me, uh, level three is, is worth minus one, so I can get this charcoal for six even though I have seven. I'm gonna get the charcoal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Because of this challenge here, it costs one less. Very nice. Now by getting the charcoal, yep. I get one on the legacy. Yep, you get three builders. I get three builders. And one squiggly. And I go up one population, which mm -hmm. gives me an ambassador. Very nice, we did a good job. Uh, now we do the challenge. Okay. The challenge is we got a uh, level four. That would be the internet. Mm -hmm. 
if you had, oh, <laughs> if you would have had this built by this time, we would have gotten five victory points. Oh. So oh, we well. were not able to escape the Black Death. But for every science and sage we have, it's worth one victory point. So you have two sages. Mm -hmm. You have one, two, three. So you're going to get five victory points. All right. Me, on the other hand, I have one in my discarded card. Good. I have one sage. You get two points? victory points. Okay. Well, that's better than nothing. Yeah. So what's the score right now? I have... 11, 12, 13, 14. I have 15, so we're pretty close. Mm -hmm. But we have to do the bottom part of the card. Okay. You have five, right? Baby, it doesn't show it on the table. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you have five divided by three, rounded down. You uh, only get one. Okay. So you get one ambassador. No, do I get a one token? No, look. You get one ambassador. One ambassador. Okay. All you right. Look right here. Now I only had ah, I, see. I only had two, so I have less. I have basically zero, so I didn't get the ambassador. Uh, darn it. Okay, we're almost done here. Here is the battle. We move Gettysburg. Mm -hmm. We know Gettysburg is going to be a nine. Yeah. Here is our new wonder, our last card, and so at the end of the game, you get three victory points, plus two for every wonder you have. I'll move this over. There we go. Pick up our five cards. Just so you know, the last challenge is science. And the next turn. Okay. If that matters to you. This is better. What am I thinking? See what I was doing here? I almost made this error here. I'm going, wow, I really want a builder. What am I going to do with this card? Well, if I want a builder, I should put the artillery there because I get a builder and a military unit. There you go. So that's part of the strategy is noticing things like that. Are you done? No, I don't want to rush you. Yeah, I'm done. Let me see something. I'm done. Okay, development phase. I get a military unit. I get two military units. Wow. And I get two eyeballs. You get two philosophers. Philosophers. Uh, I get three builders. And wow, one, good job. And one uh, ambassador. Nice. Okay, so there's one rule i got to look up. Okay. Because you're definitely advancing to the next level, but can you can you go to more one more than one level at once? Ah. So evolution phase here. Okay. Let's increase your philosophy by one level. A player can only advance by one level during this phase. So even though you have enough to go here, mm -hmm. I think you have seven. Yeah. Well, next turn you'll be able to do it. Yeah. Okay, so you must advance. Yeah. I can't, but you can. Okay. So it costs you three. Yep. So you go here, yep. and then you get to choose which one. It doesn't matter that I see it. Which one do you oh, want? Oh, okay. You can either go up two science or two population. Uh, I'll do two population. Okay. So that's turned over. And because she went up a population, you got an ambassador. Mm -hmm. I will get in the next turn. You're about to go here and get that, and yeah. you'll get it. Oh, that's times two as well. So you're going to beat me to that. You're going to do. Get I more. get two, two populations. Yeah. Oh, I only went up one. Okay, so you get another ambassador. Very good. All right, now we do wonders. I have three, six, seven. Wow, we good job. I, you know which one I'm doing? Mm -mm. Do, 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 do. I'm going to do this one. What does that do? The Kremlin. Oh, wow, that's a good one. And the Kremlin. Oh, yeah. 
He'll win the battle. Gives me two military legacy and two military units, and I get one point for every military legacy. Nice. So I go up two on my legacy. Boop, boop. I'm a six now. Oh, you'll definitely win the battle. I then. get two military units. Yeah, because of Joan of Arc. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got a lot of military wonders. Nice job, sweetie. Well, I didn't, ex didn't expect to do that, but I do. <laughs> uh, now we do leaders. You can you can buy this later for two if you want, but then you're replacing her. No, I'm going to replace some of the other Okay, I don't want to replace Joan of Arc. If I'm going to replace anybody, it would be next turn, and I do a seven. So I have to decide. Uh, I want Joan of Arc at least for this one. Okay, so I'm not going to get anything right now. So now we're going to do development. Sorry, I did all mine. I go up three science. One, two, three. One industrial and one military. Now we must buy a card. Wow, you went up a lot. Yeah. Now you have seven there. No, eight. Well, let me see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I didn't do I didn't move up a second one. Okay. So because Julian has an eight population, she has to decide which one not to use. Yeah. So what? which one didn't you use? No, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm at eight. Right, but that means you can go up one on anything you I didn't want. do that. I didn't go up on anything, actually. Okay, all right, that's fine. I'm just letting you know that yeah. to the audience, you weren't able to use one of your research points, so you decided not to use your, yeah. your wild. It's like a wild card. Yeah. You sure you don't want to go down something else and use your wild card somewhere else? No? But isn't green, don't we need green at the end? Yes. Uh, no, you want science. All right. Here, see? S science right here. All right, now I'm going to go down one green and go up one science then. But then you can buy a 10, though. Well, fine. I'm going to get a 10. We need a democracy. Did you go back down? Yeah. Okay, so Julie bought democracy. Now we'll go all the way back down. Because that's worth a lot of points. Turn, yeah. And it gives you a lot of stuff. Okay, by going up democracy here, here's a bonus that you get. You get okay. two builders. Two builders. You go up four population. Oops. Four? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay, and that means you get two ambassadors, and now you're going to get bo victory points at the end. Yeah. What else do I get? Uh, oh, and you get a spiritual. All right, now for me... That was pretty good. Do I go up a hmm. seven on electricity? Electricity. I need science, yes. Okay, I'll go down to zero. Science gives me a military, gives me an industrial, gives me a sage, gives me a diplomat. Good job, babe. You're go cooking. Up and I get one ambassador. Woohoo! Nice job, babe. Okay, now we have to do the bow. Yeah. So You're here's the win. bow. You're winning it for sure. Well, we have Joan of Arc. So each one of mine is worth three. Three, six, nine, twelve. Wow. Plus six is eighteen. Dang, you totally kicked ass. So I can go up two in anything I want, and I get six victory points. Good job, baby. Uh, you have two, four, seven. So you did not beat him. That's okay. So he takes second place. But you do get a military. Okay. Research and you get two victory points. Military and a research? You get a military research. Oh, okay. And you get two victory points. Oh, all right. Now I gotta decide what two I'm gonna go up in. Do I get the atom bomb at the end? Yes. I would. So I'm gonna go up in my military. Heck yeah, I would. Yeah, that's the thing to go for. Because mm -hmm. I can try to win at Okinawa, which is ir ironic. Because the atom bomb was first used in World War II. Now, it wasn't used at Okinawa. It was used at Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Mm -hmm. So we pick up our cards. We move it. Uh, so at this very last turn, we're going to be doing this challenge and this military battle. And for this military battle, we have to overcome a 15. Yeah, that's not going to happen for me. What's the challenge? The ye it's yellow again, right? Yeah, yellow, you want to get science. Okay. And you want to have more science cards than anybody else if you want to get two military units. Well, you have just as much science as I do. Now, keep in mind, 
you don't need to get philosophers. Nope. You're going up on that next track no matter what because yeah. you have four there. Yeah, yeah. And I don't need them either because I'm going up on the next track. I'm behind you, but at least I'll move up. But at least you're going up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is the last battle, right? It's the last battle and the last challenge. I'm looking at what I can buy. So I'm looking at what I can buy, what leader I can buy, what wonder I might be able to buy. Because I can get a level 2 wonder, at least. Do I even want... To replace Joan of Arc. Because if I get the atom bomb, I'm just going to go up on my legacy. I do need. Yeah. I'm not going to replace Joan of Arc. I just don't think I am. It's hard to tell. Decisions, decisions. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's the right thing to do. And here, you gotta spread out your cards like this so we can see what you got, okay? Okay. Oh, your name's blocking it. I know, but you can still see it. At least. All right, so I'm not going to overanalyze it. Let's do our development. I get three builders, one diplomat, and one military unit. Three diplomats, two builders, and a sage. Okay. Now we do philosophy. You go up four. And which one do you want? Oh, you can go two legacy or two builders. Oh, I'll do two legacy. I need to get as much help as I can get for that last well, battle. Well, I don't think you're going to be able to win. Oh, no, I can't. So you're probably so, better off using to get a good wonder. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so... I get two of these. In other words, you're too far behind. Yeah, To make I am. it worthwhile, one, it's better off getting two, a better three, wonder. Four, five, six, seven. Right. Okay, so I'm going to use my three. Yep. I'm behind you. I would get two populations, so I go up two ambassadors. Very nice. Maybe I will replace Joan of Arc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's points, points for points. And mm -hmm. again, you gotta you gotta decide here. Do I get a do I lose the battle? Or and you know, not lose, but I won't come in first. Maybe I come in second and then get a leader that makes up for it, because it's fit thirteen versus eleven, two victory points. So I, I guess it would be worth it for me to get another leader. Now we do wonders. So we'll be doing this simultaneously. I'm going to take this one because that's all I can afford. Four, five, six, seven. This one is worth for every wonder you have. You get three plus two. We only have one other wonder. But this one here is: Do you how much spiritual do you have? I have we have two. two. So this would be worth six. That would be worth eight, and this one would be worth uh, seven. So you're better off getting this one. Okay, I'll do that one. I already took all my things yeah, off. Yeah, because you have two spiritual. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to get rid of Mother Teresa. I know, but still, it's worth. Actually, it's worth more than that. One, okay. Two, this, this card is worth itself. So this would be worth 12. Okay. This card. I'll do that one. So there you go. Woohoo! <sighs> okay. Yeah. Uh, for me, I did. I built mine. I'm going to build mine. I get a military unit. Oh. And a sage. That's actually pretty good. It is good. Let's put it right here. Now, we do ambassadors. I have three, six, seven. You have one more. You've missed it. I don't need it, though. Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. You might be going for the same thing. I beat you on orange, but you beat me on... Yeah, the, the dark one. I'll go for Albert Einstein. I want to go for the lady, uh, Ada Lovelace. And the reason why I'm not even going to bother, because I could put it on the same one Julie's going for, but I know she's going to beat me. So, might as well just go for the one that I know I can beat her on, because I beat her on orange. Mm -hmm. I'm in third position. She's in fourth position. Um, when it comes to industry, she's in second position. I'm in fourth position. So we got what we wanted. Yeah. But Joan of Arc goes away for me. Mother Teresa goes away too then. Yeah, you just put her, just put her right there. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. she still counts as a spiritual. Okay. And I got Einstein. These Joan of Arc, at least for every two military units, it's worth five instead of four. That's great. So at least she does give me a benefit even in death. Well, that's very nice of her. <laughs> Uh, now we do development. Oh. So I get a military, a science, two spiritual, two culture. Babe, this means I go up on anything, one, anything I want. Anything you want. Okay. Now let's count them where you have it. One, two, three, four, eight, ten. And I'm at ten. You're at ten. So you can use all those research points. So Julia has enough population to use all those research points. Let me point to it on camera here. 4 plus 4 plus 2, that's 10. Okay, and don't talk to me because I'm getting confused on what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. On what I move and don't move. And then I can move one more up. Uh, what do we want at the end? What color? You want science. Science. That's yellow, right? Yes. Mm. But you also got to consider, too, what other things you're going for right now? You your spiritual pays cards. You can get get spiritual. Yeah, I'm gonna get another devotion. Okay, so you can buy. So what card are you gonna get? Your devotion. All right, go back down seven. And so here you get you get one science. I mean culture, one culture. Yeah. Three philosophers. These are worth points at the end of the game. Every two you have. Yeah. And then you go up one military legacy. Perfect. Now for me. I have the 10. Albert Einstein mm -hmm. makes it cost le four less. Oh, very good. So I get this for six. Nice. Now, unfortunately, the research track doesn't help me at the end for victory points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. But I do go up to philosophers. Mm -hmm. Four on the military thing. Yes, one builder and four on the... Yep. One, two, three, four. I don't think it's still going to be enough. I think you'll be okay. I think I'll tie, actually. Wow. So now we do the challenge. First we do the, the challenge first. Yeah. So this means whoever has the most science cards, right here, will get two military units. So you even include your wonders and any leaders, whether alive or dead, mm -hmm. in this count. Okay. I have three. I have one, two, three. And we both have one sage. We make sure you have one, two, three. Mm -hmm. So we tied. We both have four. Okay. Which means we both get two military units. Uh... Then we take the fact that we got four. Oh, we count our sages. Okay, so we had four and we got two military units. We were both tied. Now we look at how many science cards we have in sages. Oh, and our sages. So we had four. So we both got four points now. So take a five. Uh, I would exchange that one, four, five. Now, did we have greater than or equal to our 9 or greater than or equal to 12? No. So all we did was get four victory points. Science plus sages. Did I do that wrong? We I didn't have know. sages, did we? I don't remember. No, uh, we did have one sage each, didn't we? I, I mean, I don't know. Because I, I said remember. four. So this says how many science cards. We both had three. Yeah. 
So we tied, and we both got two military units. Now we look at, we both had one sage and three science. That's four. I was think, thinking too far ahead. We got four victory points. All right, so we're done with that. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm just getting really tired. Yeah. Now we look at the battle. We need to overcome a 15. No, I'm not close. <laughs> Joan of Arc, even in death, for every two military units, it's worth five. Very nice. Okay. So, so you did well, honey. So I have... That's... Five, ten, twenty. So I came in first. Very good. You have four, six, eight. So you came in third. Because it's me, Okinawa, and then you. So I get 13 victory points. Oh, good job, baby. And you get, being in third place, Three. seven seven victory points. Oh, seven. Okay. I'll take it. What? Oh, you gave it to me. Okay. Okay, and the game is over. I don't have my phone to help me do my math. Oh, don't worry about it. we got the scorecard here. Okay. So I'm going to go over what you score. First thing we're going to count are victory point tokens. Then we count how many units divided by two. Is one, so every two units that we have, philosophers, every, and then our population score. Then our, how many, if we have extra ambassadors and extra builders, you divide it by two. Oh, wait. This must be, that's something different. Those are your, te your tech. And then, oh, okay. We haven't used a score sheet before. So this is your, your technology. <laughs> What's this in a weird order? Your philosophy track, your population bonus, your leader bonus, your wonders, your tokens, and if you have divided by two. Okay. So this is the first time we've done it, uh, used it. So let me move these off to the side here to make space. So we have Julie and David. Uh, philosophy track. You have 15, I have 10. Is that right? No. I think I, I think I was supposed to count. It's a problem when you use the score sheet for the first time. Yeah, we should have tried it beforehand. <laughs> it's your technology cards first. Okay, so I put it in the wrong category. No big deal. Well, we have other ones we can use. So this is actually reversed here, okay? Now we count our technology cards. You take all the technology cards, even the ones in the dead pile and the discard pile, you count the backs. That's the easiest way to do it. Six, seven, nine, ten. I have ten. Don't count your leader. Okay? I didn't. Because notice that they're, they're, they're facing this way. They're sideways. Yeah. Okay? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, but people want to see it on camera. Well, I didn't want to see them counting on my fingers. It's okay. So four, six, ten. So we tied for, for our technology. Okay? Okay. Population bonus. I only had nine, so I get no bonus, but you got a bonus of two. Two. So Julie got a bonus of two, I had zero. Uh, now we count our leaders. So my leaders. These, uh, I'm going to show you mine first. I don't even don't try yet, okay? Because I want to show you how it works. This is four, but because Einstein gets points for every science card, I got to mm -hmm. look at my tech again. I have, and I look at my wonders. I have two science cards, and he counts as as a two. So that's he's eight. So if you look here, it's five plus one for every science card. So he. One, two, three, plus five is eight, nine, twelve. So I have twelve for my leaders. What do you got? Do you have anything eight special to count? Mm -mm. Oh, wow. You got 16 there. So you kicked butt on that. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, now we count our wonders. I get one point for the Kremlin 
for my military legacy. My military legacy is 10. And then 11, 13. Nice. I need help. I don't, I don't know what I'd have to do here. Okay, so you get points for every spiritual you have. 6 plus 1 for every spiritual. I have 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. You count that card. Oh, okay. So that's 10 plus mm -hmm. 2, 12. 12. There's no other wonders here, right? Mm -mm. So 12. The only difference of one point. Now we count our victory points. Five, 26, 27. 27 to my 38. So that, that military battle. But notice you're ahead here on categories. So we'll, it's going to be close. Okay, then we divide it by 2 here. Oh. This is 5 divided by 2. I get 2. You have 4, 2. So we tied there. <coughs> so this is what it looks like right now. And then we're going to add it up. All right. Five. Julie's really tired. I'm very tired. It's past my bedtime, and this game has like made my brain. Yeah, well, it makes it extra mushier than normal. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a really fun time playing it. I know I look like maybe I'm mad. I'm not mad. I'm just so tired. <laughs> wow. Let me see if I counted it right. Eighty-four to eighty-five, a one by one point. Now it's Good possible. Good job, honey. If you watch the playback, it's possible that we made an error somewhere. Oh, uh, well, no, actually, these these were removed. Shouldn't be any sages or no oh. your person on the left. Oh, okay. So it's possible. If you know, it's, I could have made a mistake somewhere, and that we're tied, or Julie won, or I, I won it's by. Okay, a, if I did it. Or I won by a little bit more, but still, so one point difference. Only because you got some really good leaders here. I mean, that's yeah. you shot up there, sixteen points. Let me just make sure. Sure. That we're not missing anything. Those are all the starter cards. Because you don't get any bonus points for research. But if there was a tie, and Julie won the first time we played, by the way. It's true. I did. You know what I was doing, and I won. <laughs> well, no, you did know what you were doing. You, you, you went for the right things. I mean, I've so, never played it before or anything, so. But you did well, so. If there was a tie, the ha okay. The player with the highest score is named the leader of the most glorious civilization of humanity. In the case of a tie, the players share the victory and the glory. Oh, there's no tiebreaker. Oh, well, you are the most glorious. But that was close. What is it? You're the most glorious what? Most glorious civilization of humanity. There you go. Oh, yeah, because I had the atom bomb and won military victories. And you got Joan of Arc. The point is this, is that you did really well. On your leaders. If we yeah. look here, Julie scored better on philosophy and her leaders, but I had more. I won more challenges in military during the game. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Okay. So that is Path of Civilization, and we will eventually uh, do a How to Play and Playthrough of Seven Wonders Duel. Yes. And Nations, the dice game. Those don't take as long, which is good. <laughs> and then we will do a comparison review of all three. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That's, we can do a review of this, but really, we mm -hmm. want to compare it to those other two. Yeah. And you'll see why when we do our review. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much, you guys. We hope you had as much fun as we did, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.